Hi. So uh, in light of today's uh, rulings, I guess, and with the uh, hope that, um, you know, this is just sort of just one kind of tactical maneuver uh, in the, the broader kind of struggle, I'd like to read a couple of poems. Um, the first one is by Leia Lakshmi Pyepsna Samarasinya. This is called Body Map. For Christmas, you write me your body. For a love token, you offer me your body's map. I stroke gold glitter fingertips and satin beige skin on the crackle of paper unfolding. Here, levitation. Here, a cock you created out of your best imaginations that grows hard at a shot of cleavage like straight up amber whiskey. In return, I gift you mine. Austere, wordless infant, G-spot shooting tears, ass stomp and razor blade switch, the pleasures and the dangers. If a map is created by conquerors and the unconquered, if the empire can shrink Africa, but Africa remains how big she is, these maps can be rewritten. Rewrite my body. Each day I tip tincture to lips, drip three drips, whisper change me. If a map is an artifact made by explorers and colonizers, if a map names where bodies begin and end and who will own their treasures, if a map could be made to show the hideouts and secret passageways, the stashes of food and drugs and guns, if we both have written maps to the stars where our spirit flies out and then written our return, rewrite my body with me. You have wings tattooed on your breastbone, where I have the word home in cherry brown. I can already feel where we will make each other's bodies new. What story will we unfurl this time? Change me. Um, and that was called Body Map by Ilya Lakshmi Pyepsna Samarasinya. And the second poem I'm going to read is a poem by Mark Anthony Kayanan. It's called A Fatal Error Has Occurred. He is listening to him explain which of his feelings he has feelings about. Lines hiss into the ether or converge like eyebrows. Over them, a net through which one can slip. Below, city lights tell them what they should be doing in a parked car. He lets, at some point, his hand unquiver his shoulder. He wants only to tell what he had for dinner. His mouth the surest sign. The smog in this darkness hangs like evil thoughts, heavy and invisible. It reclines on roofs like a woman crowning. The singer on the radio has no opinions of her own, asks them what they need, this already, and how much more. Allow me into the question and see what I can do with it, he says, not aloud as always. He continues to make small sounds, now agreement, now doubt. Now remorse. Remorse in his case as the admission that the world will sift through the dregs to find something it can hand back. From which come the world. Here is where the animal waddles out of the murky pool and nips at his fingers, grandly offered and unwise. His bill is vicious, his webbed feet relentless. He forgets the safe word and thus commits fully his feathers. This is where the night must assent the minutes as if through a sieve. This is how to annotate the curve of his clavicle. This is what the night does not inflame. Which stakes and whose? How long can they lie and wait? What he has to say, he parcels out in gestures. Rely on implications, only almost mean. He has admitted enough. Start the engine and allow the city to disregard the noise, please. Drive past any house in which an insomniac is glued to the TV station as it plays the national anthem, every bit as embroiled as. That was uh, A Fatal Error Has Occurred by Mark Anthony Kayanen. Uh, both of these poems I found on glittertongue.wordpress.com, uh, and I'll make that available as a link on, um, on the site. Thank you.